We knocked on people's door. We said, hey, do you have a dinner for tonight? They were like, yeah, C can you give us a plate, please? They give us a plate and we go and give it to someone in need. That's basically what we did to provide food for so many people. I'm Yasser Basis, representing Group Gromvelia and Medina as MLP Heroes. I'm 21 years old and I'm an electronic business student. I joined Scouts uh, recently and I actually joined during the pandemic because I saw the difficulties my community is facing and how horrible things can get. And I saw Scouts around the world being part of the solution and I wanted to be a part of that. First of all, we started by uh, very simple things, instructions that everyone knew as well, washing the hands correctly, taking care of the lines, etc. in the streets. And then we started to volunteer at quarantine centers and we spent like more than 1,600 hours. Quarantine centers, we sanitize everywhere we go, like schools, public places, train station, like everywhere. And we even visited doctors, police, these people had actually a very hard time during COVID, so we made sure that we will be such a support for them. And until the vaccine is up, we started registering people on the platform. Around 2,500 person, we helped them to get registered on our national registration platform. Then the vaccine is up, as I said. We volunteered also for five national vaccination days and for five centers. We received 2,500 person per center. We went so far by even creating a sanitizing machine in the hospital's door. We made it from trash <laughs> because we had no money and we couldn't ask people to donate anymore. Because people lost their job and suffered hunger for some time, we succeeded to distribute around 145 pack. Well, if I'm being asked, we distribute all kinds of packs. Masks, sanitizers, uh, blanks for the winter, etc. We all knew that we are having a very hard time. And we all should stand. And thank God, people around us were aware of that. So we knocked on people's door. We said, hey, do you have a dinner for tonight? They were like, yeah, C can you give us a plate, please? They give us a plate and we go and give it to someone in need. That's basically what we did to provide food for so many people. Hope enables us to continue all the work that we're doing, etc. And that time, we were the hope to our country. We are the only hope. The final sta station in our project was the vaccination centers. And the feeling we had in all these days, we were passing the whole day, like from five in the morning to 10 at night. Thank you so much for doing this. <laughs> we do appreciate that. If you weren't here, we don't even know how things can go. So the feeling of them appreciating so much the, what we're doing is, is unbelievable. At first they thought that we are getting paid. They said, there's no way you are doing this for free. It doesn't make sense for them. But at the end, they, they loved us. <laughs> and the impact that we started at COVID as 80 members in our group. Now we are 250 members. This is impact. This is what we call impact. People now love, know us, love us, trust us, and join us. They joined the movement, that's our impact.